What's up guys, welcome to your 11th tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to make something called a spinner. Now what a spinner is, is pretty much that thing that it looks like a text box with a number in it then you can click arrows up and down to uh, adjust the number of it. So it's a lot easier if I just build it and show you so I'm going to build it and then show you. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and create a spinner object and I'm going to name mine spinner, set it equal to the WX and the word for this is spin s p i n c t r l stands for spin control i guess um the parameter is kind of weird in this one or at least one of them is so pay attention the first thing you need to put is the parent and the id we knew that of course now the third parameter it takes is an empty string and this is pretty much worthless because if you have an empty string or a regular string um I don't really know why you need this, but you need it. This is um, the value parameter. So just uh, stick with me for now. An empty string is your third parameter. Now the rest are your normal um, positioning. I'm going to put mine at, uh, let's see, 40, 40. Make sure it's in the middle of the screen somewhere. And of course the size. And just set it equal to something like uh, 90, negative 1 for default height. So now we got a spinner made. But we usually want to do a couple things to it, such as set the range and set the default value. So to set the range or the minimum, you can go in maximum numbers you can enter. What you need to do is put your spinner object dot set range, and you need to enter a tuple. Um, put like one to a hundred. That's pretty much what most people use. Um, again, in this method is used to set the range on your spinner. Another thing you want to do is enter a default value or um, like where it, as soon as your program starts, what number is in there by default. And you do this by the set value method. And you can set the value to anything you want. I'm going to set mine 10 to begin with. And let's go ahead and run this and I'll show you guys how it works. Or actually even what it is. So this is, let me move that thing out of the way. This is a spinner right here. And as you can see, our set value is at 10. You can also enter numbers numerically uh, like that. I'm entering it with my keyboard right now. Or you can just go ahead and click this up and down arrow to go up and down. And again, you see one is the minimum we can go. And if we go to like 98, 100 is the maximum we can go. And we did that with set range right here. Now, a cool little tip. If you want to... Uh, like whenever you get to 100 or 1 if you wanna instead of going 99 100 then when you click up it doesn't stop it wraps around to 1 again or when you're going like from 3 to 1 and press down again it goes to 100 what you need to do is set a style of SP underscore wrap and this will um, make your value wrap around so pretty much that's your basics of spinner again go ahead and create a spinner object Set it equal to WX spin control. Give the parent negative one empty string. Um, position, size, you set the range like this and set the value like this. And that's your basics on how to create a spinner. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.